The basic Moodle design enables easy creation of a virtual context to enhance classroom teaching. The Moodle template consists of blocks that are contained within three flexible columns, including a wide central column and two narrower columns located on each side. This left-hand column usually contains blocks for navigation and for editing course settings. This central column, referred to as the main course content and activities block, it is where teacher will add course contents like documents, links to web resources and so on, and activities such as assessments and assignments. There are various course formats available which will be explained later in this video. Blocks in the right column mostly contain tools or information relevant to the course like calendar, news feeds, search forums, and latest news. They can also be moved to the left hand column. Teachers can customize the layout of their course according to their requirements and preferences. They may add more blocks or remove and move them to different positions. This video will cover the design and customizing of a course. The starting place for course design is in editing settings. Go to course administration, edit settings. In this block, you will add general information about your course. Ensure you have the official name of your course in the course full name field. And the course short name should be the SKU course code which consists of four, four letters and four digits. Usually your course name and code should be available from your request course form. If there is any mistake, contact the help desk. From course category, choose your college or center. For visible, choose show. So this course will be listed in SKU e-learning site and visible for your students. Here you set your course start date. Ignore course ID number. The course summary enables prospective students to know what they would learn from this course. So a student focused introduction here is most helpful. This will be displayed when a user see the course in the category before they put the enrollment key. Use the course summary file if you have more details and would like to upload the summary as a file. Here you can change the course format. Usually topics format or weekly format is applied. Use topics format uh, when your course has very obvious sections. Several weeks notes and activities may be put into one course block. Weekly format is for courses that have a strong weekly structure and individual topics that last for one week. In number of sections, decide how many weeks or topic sections you want. Hidden sections determines whether hidden sections will be displayed to students in a collapsed form or completely hidden. Perhaps it's useful for a course in weekly format for indicating holidays. From course layout, you can choose to show all sections on one page or show one section per page with block zero. Force theme allows you to select a course design and color from the list of available themes. Use force language if you would like to force your students to use a particular language in your course and they can't change it. News items to show the value when set here will determine how many recent items will appear in the latest news block on the course page. If set to zero news items, then the latest news block will not be displayed. Show gradebook to students when this option is set to yes. A student can view a list of all his grades for the course through a grades link found in the course administration block. Otherwise, students cannot view grades obtained from the course activities. Show activity reports determines whether a student can view their own activity reports via their profile page. Examples of reports are activity and access logs, listings of their contributions in forum posts or assignment submissions. Maximum upload size limit the maximum size of each file that can be uploaded to the course. You will not be able to show more than it inside the activities. If you have files with bigger size, then you need to contact the help desk team at elearn at squ.edu.om. Other settings are covered in other videos. Once changes are completed, click Save Changes.
now changes are applied to start editing your course you will always need to click this button turn editing on or click it from the administration block there are different icons that will help you uh, edit your course for example this icon uh, is to move a block section or resource or activity you can move the resources or activities right or left to make indent click this icon to edit settings of a resource activity a block or uh, a section you can uh, duplicate a resource or activity the eye icon is used to uh, hide a resource activity and you can show it you can also delete a resource or activity by this icon uh, edit the title assign roles to students in activities or resources using this uh, command to add activity uh, or resource click this icon you can also show or hide a topic using the eye icon the light bulb icon is to highlight a topic each section enables you to write a summary the first section block 0 is for the introduction to your course the other topic summaries are for titles, short descriptions of what students will learn or should do in that week or topic. Click this icon to edit the summary or title of any section. Click this icon for more text editing features. Alternatively, you can write in a Word document for more font choices and then paste into the text box. Put your mouse over each icon so you will uh, see its description. In order to add a picture to your topic summary, click uh, the picture icon. This window will appear and we can paste the URL of the picture if it is from website or browse repository to upload and insert. Once you click on browse repositories, another window will appear. Click upload a file, then click browse and choose a picture from your, more, uh, from your computer then click up, upload this file add description to the picture if you want and edit size of the picture save changes when uh, complete then repeat to the other summaries of your course Now you can see how topic summaries and pictures can make a virtual course component more visually appealing to students. When you have uh, prepared the topic or week sections, course content and activities can be added as explained in other videos. As we said before, the Moodle default course has uh, three columns. So far you have been working on the middle column. We will now look at the other two columns to see what they can offer for your courses. With editing on, click add a block to see the drop down menu. There are a number of blocks options included in the Moodle standard installation with the most commonly used ones. Calendar displays days for assignments, chat times and so on. Days can also be manually added. Course completion status shows teacher and student um, what has been done so far in relation to completing course requirements. Online users good when students are working outside of class hours and would like to know who else in the course is also online. The latest news items from news forum will be displayed here. Quiz results displays grades for quizzes taken. It will show each student his or her grade only. HTML teachers can use this uh, blog to add a picture, a video related to the course. Blog uh, can be a means for students to record course reflections for others to comment on. Docking is a feature used to minimize the blog and store it on the left side of the course. This can be done by students and teachers and relates to their own personal view. This is useful when a course feels crowded. 
to the cup lock, click on this switch. Uh, it will be seen only as a title on the side panel. To undo cup lock again, click this.